So, man, this is going to be one of those videos. This is going to be one of those videos. This is a normal day. Nothing really major happened today. Went to sleep, like about 1 a.m. Got up around 6.30, had to get up early today. Had to uh, do something, run some errands. Quite bright and early in the morning. I was up before the birds were. I was up before the sun was. So I look at my phone, I'm like, yeah, I got a couple of text messages from a couple of people. And then uh, I see one from Stevie Breach. Yes, Mr. Steven himself. And then I had a text message at 2.29 a.m. saying, wake up. I obviously wasn't awake at the time. Well, uh, the same minute, I, I, I scroll down and I see this. CM Punk reportedly quits the WWE. Uh, CM Punk reportedly told Vince McMahon last night that he was gone. He's going home. And so he did. That's where things stand right now. At this point, he's off everything going forward. I was like, what? <laughs> he then takes me, texts me, wake up about half an hour, 20 minutes later, probably to go on Skype, to go on one of those infamous click Skype calls where we supposedly bury everyone in, that we don't like or we don't know. And uh, But then sometimes we talk about wrestling. That probably they were talking about tonight when they were burying people. But yeah, anyways, that's besides the point. So yeah, I was going nuts. I literally went online. What's going on? What's going on? Reading Twitter. Going down, going down, going down, going observer. Listen to the 15 minute breaking audio, audio podcast. And they pretty much said, yeah, CM Punk left Monday. And that's why all the dirt have been saying, oh, Vince called an important meeting that WWE, like Monday Night Raw script was rewritten two hours before the show started. And supposedly that's why we had the whole. Daniel Bryan Triple H segment to open off the show with the stare down, which seemed kind of weird. Like, are they building this to a WrestleMania match? Because I thought CM Punk was in the plan for this. Not seeing CM Punk on the show at all, not <laughs> seeing Kane on the show at all, everything was somehow forgotten. People thought he had the day off, supposedly, because on an interview that was done at Ariel, Ariel Hawani's MMA fighting show, uh, he, was, he did a 30 minute interview. If you want to go watch that, you can check that out. It's pretty interesting. Ariel, CM Punk says he has a day off on Saturday. He didn't have to do the house show or something. He had to go do a thing at Comic-Con, then he flew to the show in Chicago to watch UFC, then flew to Pittsburgh, yeah, Pittsburgh, uh, to uh, be in the Rumble. And in that same interview, Ariel asks, uh, how you doing, how you feeling? And Punk's like, good. And then Ariel brings up the uh, whole thing of his contract, Ending in July. Who's texting me now? Uh, yeah. Anyways. Ariel brings up the whole thing about his contract. Ending in July of 2014. Supposedly CM Punk has signed. What signed a three year deal. When he first signed in 2011. And, people, and there were reports saying. Are you going to resign? Are you leaving? Is a show in Chicago supposedly supposed to be payback? Is that going to be your last show? Is this the end of CM Punk? Because... CM Punk has many goals, which he's accomplished, except one final goal that he's been boasting about is to main event. Not just be in one of the main matches, but to main event, to close the show of WrestleMania. And reading whatever. This is all supposed. I don't know anything. I'm just a guy who goes on the internet, reads some stuff, forms an opinion, and then tells you guys. And you guys probably have different opinions than me, obviously, but that's why you're watching this, to get a different view on things, or maybe the exact same view on things. So supposedly, uh, CM Punk is very frustrated that in the Rumble, he was not booked to win the Rumble, not booked to go to WrestleMania to be in the main event to close the show in the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match, because he was been, he's was been one of the top guys for th three years now, he's been working countless house shows, he's been main eventing house shows, him and Daniel Bryan. Uh, he's doing everything he can, and uh, right now he was supposed to go on a field with Triple H. And supposedly on Monday, that changed to him feuding with Kane, possibly at WrestleMania. Because supposedly, he was not supposed to be in the chamber match, he was supposed to be screwed out of the chamber match, 
and he was supposed to face Cesaro and lose, and then him and Kane were supposed to face each other at the chamber, which led to him versus Triple H, or possibly he could have possibly even been in the chamber if he was there on Raw, and then gets and then Kane could have been in the chamber, which could have led to the CM Punk Kane match at WrestleMania. And CM Punk having one of his last goals being at the main event of WrestleMania and not winning the Royal Rumble and not winning the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. There's no way for him to do that. And I know he's WWE Champion WrestleMania 28, but there was no way for him to be the main event of Rock vs. Cena. He was technically the main event of WrestleMania 29, having one of the best matches, the best match on the card, and the most memorable match on the card. No one ever talks about Rock Cena 2. Everyone always talks about Undertaker, Undertaker, CM Punk. That was the main event, but it was not on last, obviously, because The Rock versus John Cena 2 would be on last. And this year, being in a Triple H match, and there only be only being one champion, and Undertaker having the best match on the card, that either the Undertaker match or the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match would be the last match on the card. So even if he was facing Kane, obviously that would be the main event. Or even Triple H, one of the 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 guy who pretty much essentially runs the company now with Vince McMahon, would probably wouldn't book himself in the main event because uh, unless it would be like the company was at stake or something. That wouldn't be a main event WrestleMania match, which was supposedly supposed to happen. So, supposedly, CM Punk goes, walks in, says, I'm done, tells Vince McMahon, and he's he's off Raw. And right now, he's off every single every single house show. He's off every single, every single thing. And moving forward, he's not on anything. So, what does this mean for people coming to WrestleMania? I've been reading just random tweets of people, like when I just heard CM Punk, it'll just... Just show me a whole bunch of crap and just read people's opinions. There's one guy I read that he bought a... He's a huge CM Punk fan. He has this, like, massive tattoo of CM Punk on his leg. <laughs> he bought a CM Punk access ticket. He's going to WrestleMania just to see CM Punk. Like, he's one of his... He's one of his favorite guys. And now he's hurt that the CM Punk is not on the card. And how many... How much... How will this affect more people that are huge CM Punk fans... And not going to be going to WrestleMania forward to watch CM Punk. They're a guy. And another thing, too, is Daniel Bryan and CM Punk have been headlining house shows. John Cena does a circuit of house shows. CM Punk and Daniel Bryan do a circuit of house shows. Which they've been drawing pretty good, supposedly, as what I've read. Um, without CM Punk, it kind of drops the house show value down. Because, yeah, people will go pay to see Daniel Bryan. But how many people will actually go pay just to see one guy uh, versus a multiple uh, of multitude of people in the uh, in the event so it's kind of gonna hurt might hurt house show business uh, maybe hurt WrestleMania a bit for people that are actually going and thinking of going like man my guy seeing punks out there but it kind of helps Daniel Bryan out because without seeing punk not being here Daniel Bryan gets bumped up to an actual main event match because supposedly he was supposed to face Sheamus at WrestleMania 30. And now, right now, as it looks, Daniel Bryan either might possibly win the WWE World Heavyweight Championship at the Elimination Chamber and go on and face Batista or possibly Batista and Orton in a triple threat match at WrestleMania 30. Uh, or he could face Triple H now because there's no CM Punk. What's Triple H going to do? And that storyline is right there from the get-go. So it kind of it kind of helps me as a Daniel Bryan fan and also as a CM Punk fan too, but more of a Daniel Bryan fan because I want to see him be that top guy. And um, it just kind of helps and hurts people. It's just so weird because we haven't seen something just someone walk out and just like yeah I'm out like you're go you're going we're not gonna write you off TV you're not gonna say goodbye you're not injured you're just like yep yeah, peace I'm out later. I got thrown out the rumble. That's it. That's the last time you see me, Kane. That was it. Kane was the reason I left. And uh, Steampunk supposedly just furious that uh, it's kind of like <laughs> it seems like he's mad because The Rock came in two years in a row and supposedly took his main event spot. Because if The Rock wasn't there, I think CM Punk would probably have been in WrestleMania 29 main event. And Batista coming back. Even though he's supposed to work a, a full-time schedule for the next two years, him coming back and automatically win the Royal Rumble and going to the main event of WrestleMania 30 
supposedly, we don't know the, the actual match card, we don't know who's actually going on last, but being in the top two matches, either you're in the Taker match or you're in the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match, there's only two, one title and one streak. And CM Punk not being, obviously, in the Taker match, because he already lost last year, not being the WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. And him being frustrated, thinking that maybe he's beat down, he's worn out. And uh, him not being the at, at WrestleMania, maybe that's why he left. Because if you're going to leave during WrestleMania, the, the time where you're going to make the most money of your in your entire year, it's like... You work all year and you wait for your big Christmas bonus check and then boom, you had to leave before Christmas and you don't get your Christmas bonus bonus check or end of the year check. That's kind of like what CM Punk doing right now. It's like, oh, it's October. Like, man, I could just wait two months, get my check and then leave. No, he's like, all right, it's uh, October. This job's not really going anywhere. I have enough money. So let me tell the, everyone to F off and I'm going home. I don't worry about the check. I got enough money. I don't need. I don't need to come to work anymore. I could, I could relax at home. That's essentially. That's essentially, what he's doing. He's just leaving. He's getting up and leaving, and it's kind of. Yeah, he might be hurt. He might be beat up. But you also got to think about the fans, and yeah, you just got to think about other people. Other people that actually spend their money on CM Punk. Maybe he shouldn't just walked up and left in his frustration. He's probably been feeling like this for a long, long time now. He can't just up and leave just like that is. That in a split second, losing millions upon millions of dollars that he's probably gonna lose. Oh well, at least, at least a lot of money. I don't even know how much Steam Punk's making, but he's making a lot. And especially WrestleMania season when your shirts are selling and everything's selling, and it's like, man, like you not being on TV doesn't 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 help the whole situation. But uh, CM Punk gone, it's just it's just it's just weird. It's just you'd think that if he would leave, he would just do like a it would kind of wrap everything up. He wouldn't just up and leave, uh, or so, or at least try to make an angle out of it. Not, not similar to the one where he was gonna leave in 2011, but like something towards that, and him actually leaving and like, all right, that's that. I'm out. Peace. And it kind of sucks for the people that are actually going to WrestleMania and people who bought VIP access tickets to uh, meet CM Punk. Honestly, I think uh, you guys might meet Taker or Triple H, honestly, if they uh, if CM Punk's not going to be in that access session or possibly get your money refunded. I don't know how they're going to deal with that. And uh, for the people that are going to WrestleMania cause just to see their guy, it kind of sucks. It kind of sucks for them. And uh, I personally have seen Punk wrestle a multitude of times now. I've seen him wrestle... I've seen him wrestle 2012 against Dolph Ziggler. I've seen him wrestle in Chicago, which was a big thing for me. I always, after that Money in the Bank pay-per-view, I really wanted to see CM Punk wrestle in his hometown of Chicago, and I got to experience that in that street fight against Jericho. I've seen him wrestle in the uh, the Brock Lesnar match, named one of the best matches of 2013. I've seen him on the Raw, uh, the Raw when he fought Axel, and, and the Night of Champions I saw him wrestle. So I've seen seen Punk wrestle multitude of times after the whole deal, and even prior to that, I've seen him in a couple of house shows too. But um, it just sucks for the people that are actually just giant fans of CM Punk, and uh, I'm one of them. I just I don't boast about it. But if you know, it's like I even know I was wearing the sweater today. I just because he has some pretty cool merch. He has like the I like I like this logo with the fist and the lightning bolt. It's, I I buy a bunch of sweaters and the shirts because they look they look pretty good, cool. and. Um, I met the guy in 2013. I have my picture with him. It's very cool. I got this signed. I don't even know this is worth anything. It's pretty cool. Best in the world. I don't know. I don't know if I should just like keep this. Maybe throw it in the trash. I don't know. Who knows what I'm gonna do with that? But yeah, I just I just showed off with that. Yeah, I know that. I I realize that. You realize that too. Yeah, it's fine. That's cool. But yeah, it just this is weird. CM Punk just just leaving, but. I guess he wants to do whatever he wants to do. He saved a lot of money. He has his own damn bus to drive him around in. I think he's making plenty of money. He's made plenty of money in the past three years. So if he wants to up and leave, that's fine. It just I think it just sucks for everyone else. And uh, hopefully he doesn't regret it. Because if you listen to the Steve Austin podcast, like I've been listening to, Steve Austin likes to... Like, he, does, he, doesn't, he brings it up enough for you to notice that he always says, like, man... 
Like, if me and Vince McMahon had that meeting in 2002, maybe I shouldn't have left because him leaving, he admits, him leaving hurt the business a lot from two, in 2002. And he, sh he should have just had a face-to-face -face meeting with Vince and hopefully Punk actually thought this throughout and just instead of making a rational decision because the business could, you don't know what happens, the business could go down a little bit because CM Punk's gone. It happened when Austin left. I'm not saying Austin, CM Punk is the biggest superstar as Austin, but CM Punk is a star in the WWE, and he does draw money, and people do pay to see him. And he draws merch, he draws a lot of things, and it's like, him not being there, you gotta have another number two guy, because right now, it was CM Punk, it was John Cena, CM Punk, now it's just John Cena, Daniel Bryan maybe? You gotta still build him up. You you kind of killed him down. You gotta build him back there, at least up to where Punk was, because as of right now I see CM Punk, John Cena, CM Punk, Randy Orton, Daniel Bryan, Randy Orton. It's like around here and CM Punk and then John Cena. That's that's how I see the four. What else is there? So that's that. I don't know how long this video was. If I bored you, I don't know. I even got this stupid thing for my. Someone bought me this for my birthday. A CM Punk little thing right here. That's not much a fan I'm seeing Punk, but him leaving doesn't bother me. It just actually helps me out because I would rather see Daniel Bryan in a higher match. But uh, me never seeing seeing Punk wrestle again. Honestly, I'm content with that. But uh, for other people that are huge fans and like want to see him wrestle again because they've never seen him wrestle, it sucks for them, and there won't be as epic promos or as good promos being cut on Raw anymore if he's actually gone forever but uh if he comes back this could be huge this could if he comes back if he finally like took his break and says oh I'm coming back um uh, either I'm in the main event of WrestleMania 30 maybe he's doing a ploy to keep him out for a long time and the next year he comes back and wins the Royal Rumble match and then finally has his opportunity to main event WrestleMania 30 and uh, WrestleMania 31 and then that's it. He's done forever. Maybe that's what he's—that's his ploy. He's trying to do, trying to do like a, a part-time tactic. Maybe just leave and like, all right, you want me back? All right, I'll either I'm in the main event of WrestleMania 31, closing the show, or I'm not coming back. Maybe that's the ploy that he's trying to do. I don't know. I don't know CM Punk's mentality. I'm just making wild accusations. But as of right now, if he comes back, watch you'll you'll see him when the Royal Rumble go to WrestleMania 30 one probably be in the main event if he doesn't come back then he doesn't come back i guess the, he has a lot of money uh, probably does you know how much shirts he sold in 2011 it's like probably the one of the top 10 most sold shirts in 2011 if you probably look at it everyone everyone has a cm punk best in the world shirt if you don't have this shirt i don't know how you haven't had that shirt i don't know how you haven't clamored to buy that shirt because everyone has that shirt i have three i have a three three of those shirts i have an extra large and then when I lost weight, I got a large, and now I've lost even more weight, I have a medium. Three of the same exact shirts. Two of them are just like, I think they're in a suitcase full of wrestling shirts. That's that. The video's done. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video that I made for you today. That is all.